it is common for requirements to change during a software project. A requirement could have been overlooked, misunderstood, or the business environment could have evolved, all necessitating a change in the requirements. Change is discovered early in the system concept planning or analysis phase are easy and cheap to accommodate. But as I'm going to show you, the further in the project you are, the more expensive change becomes. The cost of finding and fixing a defect in the requirements increases exponentially as the project progresses. One reason for this increased cost is as the project progresses, more and more artifacts are reviewed and accepted. Changes to the requirements means all completed artifacts must be updated, reviewed, and accepted again to accommodate the change. And the number of people involved in creating, updating, and reviewing the artifacts increases as the project progresses. Software is especially expensive to modify. If a software design does not satisfy its requirements, it is easy to fix while in the design stage, when all that needs updating is the design diagrams and document. However, if the error is not realized until the software components are being integrated, then unit-tested code must be modified along with the unit tests. This could include modules that interface with the defective code, causing work to halt until the rework is complete. In severe cases, the design defect could require changes to the software architecture, affecting large portions of the system. These types of changes found late in the project delay the schedule due dates. Project management must then push out the schedule to accommodate the rework and work with stakeholders to increase the budget to pay for it. Delays in the schedule affect release dates set by product management and marketing and coordination with departments supporting deployment. Let's explore the rising cost of change to the requirements as the project moves through the SDLC phases. The product manager normally notices a defect in the requirements while interacting with the stakeholders. Stakeholders could be customers or high-level executives sponsoring the project. If a requirement change is found in analysis, it only involves the architect writing the requirements document. The architect will discuss the change with the product manager and update the requirements document before it is reviewed and accepted by the stakeholders. If a requirements change is found during design, the design engineers and architect will need to review the change with the product manager to understand how it affects the design. The requirements will need to be updated to accommodate the change and then must be re-reviewed and accepted by the stakeholders. And the design will be modified to accommodate the updated requirement. This design change may involve several modules and the developers working on them. If a requirement change is found during implementation, the development team and architect will need to review the change with the product manager to understand how it affects the design and the code already developed. The requirements and design will need to be updated to accommodate the change, and then both must be re-reviewed and accepted by the stakeholders. Changes to the design will mean modifications to the code already implemented, as well as the associated unit tests and the QA test cases will need to be modified to accommodate testing the requirement change. Changes this late in the project may require pushing back the scheduled release of the software, affecting all departments involved. If a requirements change is found during validation, the test engineers validating the system, development team, and architect will need to review the change with the product manager to understand how it affects the design, integrated code, and test cases. The requirements and the design will need to be updated to accommodate change, and then both must be re-reviewed and accepted by the stakeholders. The integrated code will need to be modified, which could affect multiple modules working together in the system. Code changes mean updates to the unit test and QA test cases, and could entail design and code reviews by the rest of the development team to minimize the effect on the existing code base. QA will need to perform a full regression test of all previously passed test cases to ensure the changes did not affect working code. If a requirements change is found during deployment, 
All departments involved with the development and deployment of the software are affected. Again, all artifacts produced in previous phases must be updated and re-reviewed, and the validated software goes back to rework the design and update the code. The updated software must be validated, including a full regression test of all the test cases to ensure the changes did not affect working code. Schedule changes will affect not only development and QA, but also support departments, including training, documentation, product packaging, logistics, and marketing, as well as customers participating in alpha and beta tests or expecting delivery of production software. And developers that had already transitioned to new projects may need to be called back, affecting the new project as well. If a requirements change is found when the software is in production during the operation and maintenance phase, then an entire new project must be approved, financed, and executed through all phases of the SDLC to implement the change in the production product.